I just, I'm a firm Amen. believer that people need to be appreciated. Amen. 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 Oh yeah, I'm, I'm with that. Hey man, I'm with that. People need to be appreciated. They need to be told that and showed that in so many, right. in so many ways. Because you know, you never know what a person is going through outside of the church family. Man. You know, but when somebody is steadily coming and giving and, and doing what they do and you see and you see the growth and you see them really trying to do their best, then you need to let them know that you care and you love them. That's right. And then you need to show your appreciation to them. That's just a fact. You know, if you have a church where they don't appreciate you, something wrong. Yeah. Okay, but but when you're doing things that God has called you to do, then you need to realize appreciation. God appreciates you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it's up to the people of God to show that appreciation to you. Amen. 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 So I just want to encourage you, and I just want to say, Brother Mark, yeah. you're worthy of it, son. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now back to something greater than Mark. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. This is greater than him. Amen. Yes, Amen. It's bigger, greater, everything. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir. The word of God. Yes. You know what God said about his word? He said he's gonna put his word above his name. Yes. Wow. yes. Wow. Now that's that's heavy. Yes, sir. Yeah. You mean to tell me, Lord, you're going to put your word above your name? Yeah. So that should tell you how important the word Say of that. God is. Yeah. That's right. Amen? Amen. Yeah. The word of God. When you break it down, you start finding out who the word of God is. Yes, right. You start realizing it's Jesus up there. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ain't that, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. It's a beautiful thing, boy. Yes. That's why I say you need to know who your Savior is, but yes. you also need to know what your Savior does and everything yes. else. Yes. Amen. Yes. You will start understanding him a lot more. Yes. You will not be just a little weak man or weak woman running around here in the earth. Right. Amen. Amen. You'll have power. You'll be strong. Yes. Amen. Ready for battle. Yes. Tonight, I just want one for us quickly. Go to the book of Deuteronomy. You know some good things in in that book. It's good things from Genesis to Revelation. Amen. But just dealing with what we're dealing with tonight. I don't want to kidnap nobody, but I just want to go through this so that we can take what we've already received from God, take this and add to it. Amen. Why? Because we are soldiers. Amen. Amen. And being a soldier is not just a man thing. Say that. Say that. God always used women too. Amen. Yes, sir. Women don't always have to be on the battlefield. Right. But that's God's business. Yes, Amen. If I'm out there fighting, I want my wife with me. Amen. I can't speak for the rest of me. Yes, sir. Amen. But I know what God has done with my wife. And I know the power that she holds within herself. I know she can get a prayer through. When I step, when I step on that mind and it blow up on me, I know she be praying and God will take all my parts, bring them back together. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Amen. So you need somebody like that. Boom, right here on the side of me. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for that. Amen. You know, I thank God that I have a wife with some power. Amen. 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 It's a beautiful thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. Amen. I know what the Amen. Bible says. The Bible says, you know, the woman should not usurp authority over the man. But see, if you are doing things right, yeah. she won't be trying to be over you. That's she won't right. be trying to run, run the show. Right. If you're treating her like a woman that you should be treating her, Amen. realizing that hey, God put us together. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'd rather be on the battlefield with my wife. Yes, sir. All right. 
Amen? Amen. You know why? Because I know what she's made of. I don't want no stranger next to me. I don't care if he's a general or whatever he is. Okay, that don't mean he's smart. Hey Amen. I'm trying to get through the war. I'm not trying to die in the war. I'm trying to get through. Hey Amen. That's why I trust my wife regardless of what. That's right. Hey Amen. And that's just it. I walk with her. I die with her. I don't care. That's just the way it is. And that's just at my house. I can't speak for nobody else. I can only speak on for what, for what and who God gave. Amen. Amen. That's what I need. Somebody who can pray. That's what I need. Somebody who ain't giving up. That's what I need. Somebody who's in the Word of God. See, that's what I need. Because if you know if you know how to pray and if you're praying, then you need to be praying the Word of God. Amen. 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 It's not just for you to learn this and that. Oh no, God gives us this word. So when we're praying, we're praying the word. Amen. Why? Because the word of God has power. Why? Because the word of God is your weapon. Amen. You got to know if the enemy, if you say, get behind me, Satan, you ought to know he back there. Right. You ought to know. Yeah. Hey man, if you battling with something and this and that, all you got to do is call it out. Oh, yeah. Amen. Hey man, because Amen. God's got to answer for everything that anybody is going through. All you got to do is look it up. Amen. Amen. I don't care what it is you're going through. From diseases to being poor. Amen. Amen. To being lied to or deceived. <laughs> to being saved or unsaved. The word of God has it all for you. Amen. We have no excuse. That's right. Amen. Amen. If you're looking for God, He ain't here. Amen. 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 You know what I like about the word? If you're looking for the devil, He ain't here. You ain't got to be looking for him to pop up. The devil is right in here. If you're looking for him, he right there. All you gotta do is find him, and guess what? He gonna wave to you. <laughs> Ready for battle. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So we had Deuteronomy 20? Yes, sir. Yeah. Dear Lord, we ask that you would bless our ears to hear the truth, bless our hearts to accept your truth. Lord, we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 20. Starting with the first verse. When thou goest out to battle, against thine enemies. Seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, more than you out there, uh -huh. be not afraid of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't just, we get, afraid, we get afraid and we get scared for what we see sometimes. Yes, sir. Amen? Because we're not looking for God who we can't see. Okay. Okay. So we automatically be looking, and that plays a part on how we function uh -huh. or how we even talk to God. Yeah. We get so scared, sometimes half of us won't even talk to him because we're too scared to talk. Yeah. Help. Help. Amen? We start hoping or, or, or hoping about luck. Oh, miss me. I'm not, you need to talk to God about that, amen? Yeah. Be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee. Yeah. 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 Which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. Sometimes God has to remind us yeah. about who we are and who he is. Yeah. And what he has done for you. Amen. All of us got a story. All of us been through some battles. Amen. 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 All of us been through some battles, like 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 Minister Bubba was telling us last week. Amen. You either in one, hit two, one, or coming out, and that's just like that's just like with a whole bunch of other things you can fit that with. Amen. But the thing is, what do you do when you're in it? That's right. What do you do when you are in the battle already? Do you remember that God is with you? And all you got to do is remember some things that he brought you out of already. Amen. 
Because all of everybody in here Amen. that is a man or woman of God have a story about God bringing them out of something. Amen. 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 And that's what we have to reach back on. Why? Because, see, that builds up our faith. You don't have no faith if you can't see what God has done for you. There's nothing to build it up. You ain't exercising nothing. God gives everybody a measure of faith. But it's all about what you do with it. Don't be telling me, oh, I want you to pray for me because, you know what, they, they pray and God hear them. He'll hear you. Okay. <laughs> Amen. You got to get to the point to where you don't have to run and get to nobody. What you waiting to go to church for so brother or sister so-and-so can lay hands on you? Why are you going to wait? When your situation is happening right now, but you want to wait till Sunday. Hallelujah. No. You need to look back and see what God has done for you and say, Lord, I know you did this back there. I know you did that. Matter of fact, I prayed for you to help somebody else and you did that. So, hey, I don't need nobody but you. You got to be ready for battle. You got to be ready to do what, call, what God called you to do. Quit calling on other people and call on God. If you want to win some battles, if you want to be victorious, then you need to start calling on God. Don't call me first. I got my own issues. Don't call me first. Call God first. And you know what? When you call God first, God might say, now call the pastor because he's going through something. And now you can call me and help me. Hey Amen. That's how this works. But you got to be ready for battle. You got to be ready to do. You got to be ready to hear. You got to be ready to obey. Amen. 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 Verse 2 says this. And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle, when you have come close to the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, that the man of God will come close and will talk to the people or encourage the people because they are getting ready to step in the back. Yeah. Amen. 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 So you, they need a little confidence boost yeah, yeah, yeah. because they see the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes the enemy might be more than what you have. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. But see, the reason why it looks like more than what you have because you don't see God in it. Yeah. So you look like, oh man, they gonna wipe me out. Right. I'm not gonna win this. You go to court, oh I'm not gonna win. Mm. They got more evidence. Yeah. Mm. Come on now. They showing all this evidence, but you know what? All that evidence they showed ain't connected to you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. They trying to connect That's it right. to you. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it's connected to you. Yes. Amen. Amen. So therefore, you need to be calling on God. Yes. God is the greatest. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. You can't get no higher. He the best lawyer. I know that from experience. Yes. Amen. 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 I know what God will do for you. Yes. If you just stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Just in case you're wondering, that's Bible. Yes. 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 Amen. Amen. And I had to stand on that before. Yes. I had to stand still and see the salvation. Lord, if you God, then I want to see it. God don't mind you challenging him. I'm going to tell you that. The reason why you still stuck is because you don't. But I have a relationship with my God. And I can talk to him about anything. Yes. Right. If I have an issue, I'm going to him first. Amen. Regardless of what it is. That's how you build up your relationship. That's how you build up your trust. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's when you just talk to him about everything. Amen. Mm -hmm. And he makes it right. Yes, he does. Amen. Amen. Yeah. But then again it says, And it shall be when ye are come nigh unto the battle, 
that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people. Yeah. Three says, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, hope. Mm -hmm. Hear, O Curtis. Uh -oh. Come on now. Right, right. See, you need to put yourself in the Bible. I tell you all the time. Yeah. Look, I don't care who God is talking to. He's talking to you. Yeah. I don't care who he's speaking to in the Old Testament, New Testament, or whatever. Yeah. Those people are gone. Yeah. So as we read and we study, it has to be you. Amen. Who you think God is talking to right now in 2024? Yeah. He ain't talking to these people. They gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be personal if you don't take it personal. Yes. Yeah. How are you going to make it personal and you don't make it personal? God is talking to me. Hero Israel? No, it's Hero Curtis. Hero Pastor Williams. I'm talking to you. Just like I was talking to them. Yeah. Why? Because the God back there is the same God that I serve yeah. now. Yeah. God don't change. Yeah. We do. Yeah. We change. God don't. Yeah. The same God that was saying, Hero Israel, the same God that's telling us right now, Hear, O Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. The same God. Here, Brother Courtney. Here, Mary. That's what God does. He's, he's trying to get our attention. So we have to put ourselves in the book. Because he's talking to us. Amen? And I shall say unto them in verse 3, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Yeah. You getting ready to have a fight yeah. with some people. That's right. People who don't like you. That's right. Don't you know in the body of Christ there's people who don't like you? Yeah. <laughs> I know I know a lot of people won't say amen to that. I get it. But I'ma say amen. Yes, amen. Because there are people in the body of Christ who don't like you. Amen. You pretend like you do. Or like they do. They don't like you. Like you think they do. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of people in the body of, body of Christ I don't like. I don't like them. But you know what? God didn't tell me to like them. Did he? Oh, y'all need to follow along. I already know somebody can say, you know, Pastor Wim, he was up there talking about he don't like people. Ain't he a pastor? But he talking about he don't like people right, right. and all this kind of stuff. Hey, Amen. I didn't say don't like all people. I said some people I don't like so much. That's why I've learned to love them from a distance. I don't have to be sitting up there with you. I can be back here someplace and just be praying for you and loving on you from a distance. I don't have to be like this. You don't need to be all, be all up on me for me to love you. Right. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? I don't need to know everything that you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? For me to love you. That's right. That's right. See, because there's a difference between liking and loving. Amen. See, I ain't read the scripture let, yet what God say he liked. Come on now. <laughs> I know you got to think about that, huh? Amen. <laughs> But I haven't seen the scripture yet where God say I like. Yeah. I see scripture where God says I love. Uh -huh. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And I've seen some scriptures too that where He says He hates. Yes. Right. 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 That's right. Okay. But I never read scripture yet that said He like. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. So I'm standing on good ground for some things I don't like. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And that's fine with me. But we have to remember, we're in a battle. Hey, if you're in a battle, if you're fighting somebody, you don't like them. Right. True. 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 I mean, come on now. Some, people's, some people like people is stronger than their love for the people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes because they like them so much. And most of the time they like them because of what they do. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. come on, Not because of who they are, but they like them for what they do. So therefore, they like them. 
But the people ain't never said, hey, I love you. Right. You just think they do love you because of their like for you. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Right. Amen? Right. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> let me get off of that one right there. I think that one. But three, let me finish this out. And she'll say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Right. Let not your hearts faint. Don't let your hearts give out. Don't be weak. That's right. Amen? Yeah. And then after that, don't fear. Fear not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women, there's more than us. Yeah. Don't fear. Amen. I got you. Mm -hmm. Don't fear. Amen? Yes. Yeah. Then it says, and do not tremble. Don't show them that you're afraid. Yeah. Don't be sitting up there shaking in your boots. Uh, uh, shaking in your boots and the next thing you know what comes after you scared to death shaking in your boots you know what happened to a person uh -oh. amen you better have a pamp on <laughs> oh yeah you be so scared and shaking but you better have a pamp on or a pen or something cause you know what's gonna happen you so scared and shaking here you go and people gonna be looking at you, man. You can't fight with me. Get over there, man. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. Yeah. See, God got you covered. He's saying, hey, don't be this, don't be that, don't do that. Okay? Why, Lord, don't do these things? It's because I got you. And if I got you, you ready for battle. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about nothing. I got you. Yeah. You just need to be ready. Okay, when I call you, just answer the call. Amen. 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 Be ready for battle. Yeah. Four says this. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you. Yes. See, that's encouraging. Amen. See, it should be real encouraging to the believer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean to tell me, Lord, when I step out, you're with me? Praise God. You mean to tell me when I go to work, you're with me? Thank you. Sir. You mean to tell me, you know, when, when, when I don't uh, understand certain things that I'm studying in the Bible, you're with me? Thank you. Okay, because it don't matter if it's a fight mm -hmm. or understanding something. Amen? Amen. Because he says, for the Lord your God is that goeth, is he that goeth with you. So wherever I go and whatever situation I find myself in, God is there. Amen? Yes. Amen? See, and that's a blessing, but sometimes we forget about all that stuff because we're too busy trying to do what the world do. Amen? That's true. Amen? We're too busy trying to grab it. Get it. Amen? And sometimes we want it so bad, we'll steal it. Mm. Or we'll deceive somebody in it to get it. And I'm talking about men and women of God that do that. Amen. Okay? We shouldn't, but we find ourselves doing that. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies. Why are you doing all that for me, Lord? Why are you fighting against my enemies? Amen? The last two words says, save you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God wants to save you. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Lord. Through all the battling, he wants to save you. Regardless of how close you're in the battle, or if you're in the battle, even if you're running scared. God's intentions are to save you. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's what it's all about. Amen. That's it. Yeah. That's getting ready for battle. Amen. 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 Let me tell you something. In Ephesians, what six something, six seventeen, whatever it is, it talks about your weapon, right? Yeah. It talks about the sword mm -hmm. of the spirit. Yeah. Right. Okay. Which is the word of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Everything else he named was for protection, was for you to, you know what I'm saying, to get it, get it right, get it together. But when it came down to the word of God, that is your weapon. Yes. Yes, That's all you need because everything else was covered. Yes. All you got to do is toot. Right. <laughs> all you got to do is swing it. Amen. God didn't say, hey, look, let me tell you something. Sometimes God will use you and you're not even ready to be used. Yes. Wow. Yes. Do you hear me? Yes. Because God knows that you're ready for battle. Yes. You don't because you don't have no faith. And I don't mean just faith in God. You ain't even got faith on, in, in what God has already put in you. Don't you know the little bit that you know, God is able to use that. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's what he does. When you're in a battle, God will use what's in you. Amen. And then He, while you're in battle, he'll show you some things that you never even learned. Amen. God will show you some things that you never learned. Learn. Because experience is the best teacher. Amen. And that even pertains to God. Amen. The experience. The experience. Last thing I want to touch is Hebrews 12. I mean Hebrews 4.12. Hebrews 4.12. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. You know, getting ready for battle is, I know it's not easy, yeah. but it's something that you have to do. Amen. As a child of God, you have to be ready to fight. Yes, Amen. Yes, you have to be ready to fight. Yes. Hebrews 4.12. 4, we have to be ready to fight. Yeah. Right. We there? Yeah. Amen. Dealing with that word. Yes, sir. Which is your weapon. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hebrews 4.12 says, For the word of God is quick. Yeah. That means it's a lot. Yes, See, a lot of people read the word and a lot of people talk about the Bible. There's a lot of Bible haters in the world. Now, all you got to do, look on social media. You see all kind of Bible haters. Okay, just talking stuff that don't even make sense. They just talking, trying to trying to discredit the word of God. Okay? And they do it in such a way to where they come up with stupid stuff. Oh, wow. Amen? Amen. They really do. So they think that the word of God is dead. This is some man-made up stuff. They think it's a fantasy or a fairy tale. Amen. Amen. But see, I just tell them, won't you try it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Try it. You know, it's like the word says, here, prove me. Yeah. God will prove himself to you. Okay? Now it's up to you to believe once he proves it. Amen? Amen. But it says that the word of God, for the word of God is quick, is alive. And not just alive. But powerful. Yes, come on. Right, right, man. Powerful. Who in here wants some power? Yes. I want some power. Yes. Amen. I really do. And I just don't want my own power. I want yes. his power. Yes. I want God power. Yes. Amen. I want some power that comes from God. Yes. Because I know if he give me some power, it's going to work every time. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Jesus proved that out. Every time Jesus wanted to do something, he got done. That's right. Amen? Amen. It That's right. got done. Yeah. That's right. Jesus had so much power, had the power of God in him, he was able to say, no, go ahead and put me to death. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. He had so much power, he was able to let his creation, which is people, yeah. go ahead and put him to death. Yeah. But like he said, all right, if I wanted to, <laughs> Jesus is cold. Je you know what? I, Jesus ain't gangster, but he is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying, though? When you really start looking at Christ, Jesus is cold. Amen. 
Right. He told him one of the one of, one of the rulers. Okay. Ah oh, man, you wouldn't have no power over me if it wasn't given to you by my father. Say that. Say that. Yeah. Don't you know that right now yeah. I'm able yeah. to call down legions. Yeah. 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 I'm able to call down legions of angels. And they will fight for me and tear this place up. Tear the world up. But because of his great love for us, no good people. Because of his love for us, no good people. He said, oh, but you know what? Go ahead. Thank you. Basically saying, go ahead. Do, do to me what you will. Because he knew the purpose. Okay? And his love for us. He know if he do this, then we will be able to have some power. So that we will be able to fight our own battles. Amen? Because we need his power in order to be conquerors. We need it. If you, let me tell you something. If a person can't pray for me, because their life is messed up. Shame on them. And I'm talking about in the body of Christ. I'm not talking about everyday Joe Blow or Sister Blow. Okay? That don't have a relationship with God. But every man and woman of God that have a relationship with God should be able to pray. Oh yeah, it's no excuse. Amen? Amen? All you got, if you don't know how to pray, just go back to where they taught me a long time ago. Now I lay me down to sleep. Start with that one. And get that one in your system. Amen? I pray the Lord, my soul to keep. Okay? Get you some confidence. And if I die, before I wake, I pray the Lord, my soul to yeah. Start right there and that'll get you started in your prayer life. Yeah. Just start right there. Yeah. You know, when you wake up in the morning, just thank you. Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Amen. Because what you're doing is, while you're doing that, you're getting ready for battle. Yeah. You getting ready. These little things will help get you ready for battle. Oh, yeah. Let's finish 12 out. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. It's a weapon once again. The word of God is sharper than anything man can form. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he said it the way he said it. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. Man makes two-edged swords. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So if what God has is sharper than what man can make, yeah. don't you want that? Amen? Yes. Amen? So the word is here. All we got to do, you mean to tell me, Lord, hey, look, somebody right out there, they want to get rid of me, and all I got to do is, is use the words? Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. See, we don't understand, you know what I'm saying, what God can do unless we try him. Amen. Back to what I said in the beginning. Yeah. You got to try God sometimes. Yeah. And you got to try him at his word. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Try him at his word. For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the spirit and the soul. Yes, yes. that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now that's sharp. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the spirit you can't see. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The soul you can't see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. But. It just told me that the word of God cuts that. Amen. What kind of weapon is this? Yeah. You got to ask yourself, what kind of weapon is this? Amen. Amen. You mean to tell me that the word of God that we handle on the, hopefully on a daily basis or a few weeks or whatever you do. Amen. You mean to tell me that this has the power to cut that? To cut the spirit from the soul? Wow. What kind of scalpel is that? <laughs> Amen? We need to understand what God has. Amen? Amen? And it says, and of the joints 
and tomorrow. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That's close. Mm -hmm. He's talking about your body now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. That's close. Boy, that's, that takes, ooh, mm -hmm. that takes practice yeah. mm -hmm. to be able to separate that. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. You got to be, I don't know what kind of doctor you need to be to do that, but you got to be good. Amen? Yeah. Amen? And talking about the word of God, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Uh -huh. yeah. Talking to about your body once again. Right. Uh -huh. All that mess up here. Uh -huh. See, we, we we got a lot of thoughts up here. Yeah. We got more thoughts than action. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Amen. 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 Oh, we sit up here, boy, and we think about all kinds of stuff. Just thoughts just running. Thoughts just running. Thoughts just running. Okay? And we don't do not even half those thoughts that be coming. Even when we say, oh, yeah, you know what? I should do that. And then boom, it's gone. <laughs> Amen? It's gone already. But we see what the Spirit does. Amen? And there's a discerner of the thoughts. The Spirit discerns what you're going through. Good, bad, or indifferent. Some of our thoughts are good. Some of our thoughts is bad. Yeah. I don't care who you are. Come on now. Amen? Yes, sir. You can shout hallelujah with me on Sunday all day. Right, right. Uh -huh. But I ain't with you Monday through Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reality of it. But God is with you Amen. Monday through Saturday. And God does see what you do. Amen. Amen? So if you just a mess up Monday through Saturday, God ain't going to use you for battle. Amen. Deacon Roy said today, talking about those guys lapping the water. Yeah. 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 Amen? Yeah. Now, we do need to be more like them. Amen. Like Gideon's folks. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. One thing he left out, they was down there lapping that water. Yeah, was. Mm -hmm. Amen? Not full face, but they were just laughing. Yeah. Okay? They went down on one knee, like he said. Yeah. They was bringing that water up. Like he said. But their head was up like this. Amen. Looking at y'all. Right. Right. Because they ready for battle. You hear what I'm saying? This is what I'm trying to tell you. They ready for battle. They just put their head in the one. Yeah. And they look. But you know what else they was doing? They got their hand on yeah. their sword. Yeah. See, see, right. they got their hand on their hip right there where the sword is, yeah. so they ready to do battle. If anybody jump out on them, come out the butchers. Yeah. But while they're doing it, they being refreshed. Yeah. So God is allowing them to be fresh, but they got their hand on their hip so they can pull it out and cut them, yeah. which was a sword. Uh -huh. So what we got to do, make sure we have our hand on our sword so whatever we do, Jesus is coming through. Whatever it is. Jesus is the word of God. Amen. In closing, what did that word do for us? The word did a lot. The word became flesh. Amen. The word became flesh. Why? For me. I'm not going to answer for you. I'm not going to wait for a response from you. The word became flesh for me. Amen. The word started living this life for me. The word was beat up, abused, everything for me. This is what the word does. He was getting me ready for battle, but he had to go through some things himself. Yes, so he went through all of this stuff uh -huh. for me. Yeah. 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 He allowed his creation to kill him. Yeah. Put him on the cross. Yeah. For me. Yes, That's yeah. what he did it for. Yeah. He let him put the nails in and everything for me. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. He let him pierce him in the side for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Everything Jesus did was for me. 
The cross was for me. Amen. He didn't have to do it. But he did. And I love him for that. I love him for that. The reason why I'm ready for battle is because of what he did on Calvary. That's it. That's all we got. Once we see him on the front part of the cross, once we accept him, now it's up to us to go beyond the cross. Amen. We got to go to the back part of the cross and we got to look and see the blood coming out through those nails. Yeah. Just coming down the back side of the cross. Because if you already accepted him on the front, then you don't need to stand there no more looking. Amen. What you looking for? I got what I needed from the front part of the cross. I got it when he hung and bled and died. I got all that from him. Now he even came out of the tomb. What am I still looking at the cross for? Everything that I need to do is beyond the cross now. The cross did for me what it was supposed to do. The blood made a remission for my sin. Made an atonement for my soul. Yes. Jesus did what he was supposed to do for me. He died and he rose three days later. That's what he did for me. Thank you, Lord. I've been bought already. He don't have to pay twice for me. He paid once. Amen. And once I accepted. His sacrifice. Yeah. That's all I needed. Amen. I don't need nothing else. Right. Now I got to live it. Yeah. Our job is to live it like he lived it when he went to the cross. Yeah. Don't care nothing about your life so much because if you believe in him, he going to bring you through. Yeah. If you believe that he died for you, he going to bring you through. It's only by the blood. That's it. We have to remember, just tell people the story. Tell people about what Jesus did. Tell them that he died on the cross. You know, a lot of people don't want to tell them that he died on the cross. And I don't mean tell them at church. That's how we make big mistakes. We want to sit up there and hoop and holler at church. Instead of telling other people that you love that you see on a regular basis, when the last time you told somebody about this house? Right. Yeah. Let's get real about this thing. Yeah. Hey man, we sit up there and we get dumb. Like he did before his shears, he was dumb. Didn't say a word. He didn't tell us to be like that. That's what he did. Because it was prophesied. So he wasn't supposed to say nothing. But us, us, us soldiers that's in the army of the Lord now, yes. hey, we got to tell it. Amen. Yes. We have to tell it. Yes. Amen. 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 Don't wait till a funeral to try to tell it. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. We have to tell the story. Amen. We have to tell the story about Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand praise.